Hello. Some parts of the UK will have some warm sunshine this weekend, but the main talking points will be the heavy downpours and the thunderstorms. Pinning down thunderstorms in summer, well, it's as tricky as pinning down an individual cloud. So yes, the detail, still a little bit to play for. The bigger picture tells the story quite nicely. Low pressure sitting up to the northwest, but the isobars pretty sparsely packed. And down to the south, there's a warm plume, a zone of warm, humid air that's tracking its way northwards. With the energy, combine it with some moisture, that's likely to spark some thundery downpours as the winds waft those heavy downpours up from France through Friday night. Likely to wake up across East Anglia in the southeast to some hefty downpours. That all tracks steadily northwards through the course of the day, getting into parts of East Wales maybe, maybe into southern Scotland also, but certainly a large chunk of England at risk from hefty downpours. May turn a bit drier across the southeast come the afternoon, but any sunshine here may spark further thunderstorms. Looking a bit dry across Northern Ireland, particularly so in the east and western Scotland, may well have a fine day on Saturday. In parts of South Wales and southernmost counties of England, generally enjoying sunny skies through the afternoon, although it will be clouding over in the far southwest. Now, the main concern is this zone of hefty downpours. Now, we've got quite a big yellow warning area for thunderstorms issued on Thursday. In this area, there is the risk of torrential rain falling onto dry ground, so that could cause flooding, lots of lightning, large hailstones and gusty winds. But as is always the case with summer thunderstorms, just because you're in this warning area doesn't mean you're definitely going to catch a downpour. They'll still be hit and miss. This is just the area that's at the greatest risk from disruption during the course of uh, Friday night and particularly through Saturday. With those heavy rains tracking northwards, they'll also bring quite a lot of cloud with them. It'll still be warm and humid and muggy, but temperatures won't be as high on Saturday. Reaching still 24, 25, maybe a little higher with a bit of sunshine across the far south. Uh, a little cooler further north and west as well. Generally temperatures in the low 20s across Scotland and Northern Ireland, along with Wales. Those temperatures quite a bit down on Friday's values, particularly over the Midlands and eastern England by 3 to 6 degrees, maybe more in some locations. So, yeah, temperatures won't be as high, but it'll still feel pretty claggy, pretty humid. And then for Sunday, well, we look down to the southwest as the area of low pressure starts to move its way in. And around that, there'll be further bands of heavy showers and even thunderstorms. Again, the details may change of exactly where these bands of showers are lying and where we see some sunshine between the heavy bands of showers that may well spark further heavy thundery showers because the air's pretty unstable, as we say. Pretty uh, active in terms of uh, downpours, volatile atmosphere, likely again to produce hit and miss thundery showers. Quite cloudy in eastern Scotland with some heavier rain here and close to the low, likely to be pretty cloudy with showery rain on and off. And it could get quite gusty too along the south coast of England. As I say, between the downpours elsewhere, there will be some sunshine and it'll still feel quite warm in the sunshine, although humidity levels tending to dip away a little bit as we go through the weekend. And it's quite noticeable if the breeze picks up along these eastern coasts. If it stays cloudy, temperatures may stay in the teens. Plenty going on then through the course of this weekend. Do keep up to date with the forecast and keep up to date with the weather warnings on our app and on our website. You want to be subscribing to our YouTube channel and also we're on Spotify. So if you're watching on there, don't forget to subscribe.